Day 4, 2nd September, Mary Most Sorrowful. Mary silently, sorrowfully accompanied Jesus on the road to Calvary. How deep must have been her sorrow to see her son suffer unjustly, suffer humiliation and pain, and yet she stood by that cross offering her support. Her compassion and her love for humankind is what kept her strong even as the sword of sorrow pierced her heart. And when Jesus' lifeless body lay in her arms, she must have wept tears of sorrow and at the same time silently vowed to take good care of God's creation entrusted to her in the last moments of his life. When we misuse God's creation, we are also hurting our blessed Mother Mary. When we are selfish and careless, we hurt her and our Creator even more. Let us pray at this Eucharistic celebration that each one of us may continue to work in ways that honor and give glory to God's creation. Kindly take your hymn books to hymn number nine. Hymn number nine, kindly rise. Joy to the Savior, Alleluia, Alleluia. Hail the rock who rescues his people, Alle, Alleluia. Let us come before him with thanks and with songs of joy, for he is our King. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are in the Navina to celebrate the solemnity of the birth of our Blessed Mother. And today we'll be reflecting on a theme on the sorrows of our Blessed Mother, sorrows, sufferings in the lives of our Blessed Mother. And the theme itself fills us with consolation because that's exactly what most of us are going through during the time of the lockdown and the pandemic. There's a lot of suffering, difficulties and sorrow in our families and around us. And the fact that our Blessed Mother also experienced difficulties, hardships, fills us with a lot of comfort and consolation. She understands us. And we can be sure that the intentions and sentiments that we have at the start of the Eucharist, our Blessed Mother will definitely intercede for all the difficulties and the problems we too are going through in this moment of our lives. And so with this wonderful sentiments of confidence that our Blessed Mother is with us, interceding for us, especially the difficulties and hardships that we're experiencing at this moment. Let's partake in this Eucharistic celebration. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let's pause, call to mind our faults, our failings, and ask the Lord for his pardon. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, 
in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Can you take your hymn books to hymn number 471? Hymn number 471. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, pour into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, I myself was unable to speak to you as people of the Spirit. I treated you as sensual men, still infants in Christ. What I fed you with was milk, not solid food, for you were not ready for it, and indeed, you are still not ready for it, since you are still unspiritual. Isn't that obvious from all the jealousy and wrangling that there is among you? From the way that you go on behaving like ordinary people? What could be more unspiritual than your slogans? I am for Paul, I am for Apollos. After all, what is Apollos and what is Paul? They are servants who brought the faith to you. Even the different ways in which they bought it were assigned to them by the Lord. I did the planting, Apollos did the watering, but God made things grow. Neither the planter nor the waterer matters, only God who makes things grow. It is all one who does the planting and who does the watering and each will dully be paid according to his share in the work. We are fellow workers with God. You are God's farm, God's building. The word of God. Thanks be to God. Your response shall be. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. They are people whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth. He sees all the children of men. Our response. Happy the people the Lord has chosen from the people where he dwells, he glazes on the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all and considers their deeds. Our response. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. 
Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. Our response. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Kindly you take your hymn books, hymn number 595. Hymn number 595. Kindly rise. from the Holy Gospel according to John. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clophis, and Mary Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to your Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we are well aware the impact that mothers have on their children and uh, on the family as well. Mothers may not know it, but they are often responsible also for the faith development in their children. And in fact, they are more responsible than all the preachers of this world put together. In fact, it is said that the greatest legacy that a mother can leave her children in this world is the testimony of a deep and exemplary life of faith. And I'd like to share a few words with you written by Dorothy Law. And uh, it's a small... Uh, you can say, verse that she has written, where she mentions that children learn what they live. And she says, if a child lives with criticism, then the child learns to condemn. If a child lives with hostility, then the child learns to fight. If a child lives with ridicule, they learn to be shy. If a child lives with shame, then the child learns to feel guilty. If a children live with tolerance, they learn to be patient. If children live with encouragement, they learn confidence. If children live with praise, they learn to appreciate. If children live with fairness, they learn justice. If children live with security, they learn to have faith. And if children live with approval, they learn to like themselves. 
If children live with acceptance and friendship, they learn to find love in the world. Beautiful words. And sure, I'm sure that our blessed Virgin Mary too, just like every mother, Mary too had a great influence in the life of Jesus when he was still a child until he became a very mature person. My dear brothers and sisters, today we reflect on the theme of, our, of the sorrows of our Blessed Mother. And in fact, we celebrate and we commemorate our sorrows in the calendar of the church on two occasions. We have the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows on the 15th of September and also on Good Friday. We also reflect on the sorrows of our Blessed Mother. And we commemorate the sorrows of our Blessed Mother because, well, they are related with Jesus. And uh, Jesus' suffering, death, and his triumph and victory, well, it follows, Mary follows in precisely in the footstep of Jesus as well. Mary, as the gospel mentions, was present at the foot of the cross. For Mary was ever faithful and devoted to her son, whom she followed throughout his life and also in his ministry in this world ever loving him, caring for him at times, even to the point of following him to the cross at Calvary. It must have been very painful and unbearable and very ex excruciating for a mother to have to witness a son being made to suffer, tortured and rejected by people whom he had loved. And the pain which Mary had felt upon seeing the nails piercing the hands and the feet of her son must have been really very tremendous. And this was what Prophet Simeon had foretold to Mary and Joseph at the time when they brought the baby Jesus to the temple to be presented to the Lord. He foretold that a sword would pierce the heart of Mary, the mother of our Lord. But through that, out of many hearts, thoughts may be revealed. It is the thought which Mary always had for her son ever placing him at the forefront of her mind and the care and love he had for her, which she now shows us from a wounded heart as well. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, today as we reflect on the sorrows of our Blessed Mother, we look upon Mary, the mother of our Lord and God, whom her son had entrusted to us as our mother and vice versa, that we have also been entrusted to her as her adopted children. And in her we see the sorrowful eyes which have gazed on the suffering of her son as he took up his cross, walking the long path from Jerusalem to Calvary, seeing her son rejected and trampled upon, loathed, made fun of, made to suffer, bearing the burdens of our sins, the entirety of mankind's unimaginable huge burden of sin. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, that is why the sorrow of Mary is clear even unto this very day. Because even though God had loved us and he even willingly laid down his life for us, sacrificing himself for our sake, we continue. We take it for granted. We continue to commit sin. We, com we continue to commit ourselves to what is evil in the sight of God, refusing to obey God and his laws and continuing to do what is against the law of God. Mary is our mother. And when she looks down upon us, she looks down upon us with sorrow in her eyes. Yet we mankind continue to walk down our path towards destruction by our own ignorance of the Lord's ways and teachings, by our refusal to repent and to turn away from all of our sinful ways. And that is why Mary made so many appearances in various times and places including at Fatima and uh, various other places. And what was the common message when Mary appeared? What did she express? She expressed her sorrow. She expressed her sorrow at her children and uh, expressed her sorrow at the children who were refusing to repent for their sins and refusing to turn away from their wicked and evil ways. She showed them during the every, the, the, all the apparitions, Mary showed the world, the horrors of hell, and what awaits those who are not faithful to God. 
that is because each and every one of us are precious to her mary is sorrowful because she's, she cares about us she's concerned about us she's a mother and she loves us just as she loves and tenderly cares for her son jesus she does not want even a single soul to end up in the damnation of hell my dear brothers and sisters as we reflect on the sorrows the sufferings of mary our loving mother the mother of our lord who have witnessed just how great the love god has for us that for our sake he was willing to die for us that each and every one of us may have life in us let us all therefore spend some time to think about what we have done in our lives thus far and what we have not done in accordance with god's ways and god's teachings and let us commit ourselves as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the feast of our blessed mother and today as we reflect on the sorrows of our blessed mother and also the cause of sorrow is because of our children continue to live a life of sin refuse to to repent for their sins mary is our mother given to us by jesus himself let us now from now on turn ourselves wholeheartedly and completely towards the lord our god and through the guidance shown upon us by his mother mary a lady of sorrows may all of us be able to find our way to the salvation and eternal life found in jesus alone let the sorrowful heart of a loving mother mary remind us of the need for us to reject all forms of sin and live with faith zeal and devotion from now on may all of us draw our attention to the blessed mother mary and through her may all of us find our most direct path to our son may the lord continue to bless us and be with us all the days of our lives and we can be sure that if we follow in the footsteps of our lord and we intercede to our blessed mother she'll continue to reach out to us we call mary the in our own words of the magnificat mary she continues to reach henceforth all generations will call me blessed and the generations have been calling her blessed is only because mary continues to reach out to us mary continues to reach out even today and if we approach mother with all our filial love and devotion we can be sure she will reach out to us as well be with us and help us to overcome the difficulties of temptations that we experience in our lives and also intercede for us for the various intention and needs that we have with this words of encouragement and devotion let's continue with the celebration prayer of the faithful our response shall be creator god hear our prayer kindly repeat creator, creator god, god hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for our holy father pope francis the bishops and clergy that they are able to lead their flock in true spirit of god bringing glory to your name we pray to the lord Creator, Creator God, God hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may be caregivers to our surroundings and nurture the brother-sister role that Saint Francis of Assisi proclaimed. We pray to the Lord, Creator, Creator God, God, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may discover the worth of each other and recognize that we are profoundly united. with every creature we pray to the lord creator, creator god, god hear our, our prayer that all may work collaboratively in truly caring for and nurturing our communion home we pray to the lord creator, creator god, god hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for people who continue to work so that the daily needs of people are met keep their vehicles running smoothly 
as they deliver needed supplies and food. Please protect them from contracting the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Creator, Creator God, Lord, hear Lord, our prayer. prayer. Let us pause to pray for our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Creator, Creator God, God, hear Lord, our, our prayer. prayer. We make our prayers through the intercession of our Blessed Mother. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you take your hymn books to hymn number 130? Hymn number 130. Pray, brothers and sisters, sisters, this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, the sacrifice at, your hands, at your hands for the, for the grace and glory of his name, for, for our good, good and good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what we celebrate in mystery, it may, it may accomplish in power to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and, and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. To praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To proclaim your kindness as we echo a thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to our sins you have done great things. And extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid. You gave us through the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Can you take your hymn books to hymn number 471? Hymn number 471. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall 
so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Oswald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace. I give you look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed.
Can you take your hymn books, hymn number 169, hymn number 169. Dear parishioners, let's together recite the communion prayer, Anima Christi. The Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, Water from Christ's side, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me. And bid me to come unto thee that I may praise thee with thy saints and with thy angels forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from heaven, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Navina to the Nativity of Our Lady. Day four, Mary Most Sorrowful. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Chosen One, among the daughters of Adam, admirable Mary, the Redeemer, promised to mankind from the beginning of the world, takes delight in your birth, for he sees the one who is destined to become the co-redemptress of souls by uniting her tears to the blood shed on the cross to save mankind. Dearest Mother, please pray for me and for these, my intentions. You feed the birds of the air and clothe the lilies of the field Teach us to seek first your kingship over us and follow your way of holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
kindly pray for your personal intentions hail mary full of grace the lord, the lord is, is with thee blessed are thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen the prayer your nativity o virgin mother of god was the herald of joy to the whole world since from you arose the son of justice christ our god who destroying the curse bestowed the blessing and confounding death rewarded us with life everlasting let us celebrate with joy the birth of the blessed virgin mary that she may intercede for us with our lord jesus christ let us pray grant to us your strength your servants we beseech you o lord the gift of your heavenly grace that as our salvation was begun in the childbearing of the blessed virgin so from this solemn festival of her nativity may we obtain an increase of peace through our lord jesus christ amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father the son and the holy spirit amen let us go in peace to love and serve the lord thanks be to god can you take your hymn books hymn number 342 hymn number 342 